This entire animation was created in just 20 minutes using a single AI platform. In a forest, there is an innocent little rabbit named Ash, but a distant howl sends shivers down her spine. She bolts, heart racing, as she navigates the forest, fleeing from the unseen predator. With a surge of adrenaline, Ash spots a hallowed tree and dives inside. As dawn breaks, Ash emerges from her tree with a newfound sense of courage, ready to find her way back home. From the scripting, the creation of my characters, the storyboard, camera motions, and even the composition, almost this entire process from start to finish was done automatically by one AI tool. The only thing you have to do is tweak it a little bit to your liking to make it perfect. Now, that is not the only thing that you can do with this AI tool. With this platform, you can make movie trailers, commercials, and you can use this for your entire pre-production. Now, back in the days, I used to work on marketing productions and commercials, and I have a bit of experience in this industry. One of the biggest issues we faced was explaining our concept to our clients. You see, it's very hard to get someone on board on your ID if you don't have a visual for this. Now, this is where AI comes to play. For example, I can take this perfume ad and if I were just to tell you that I'm gonna do like a marketing campaign with a noir film style video, then you will have no idea what it looks like. But if I show you this storyboard, then you will have a good idea of what we can create for this production. And that is exactly what you can do with LTX Studio. So in this video, I will walk you through how to use LTX Studio. I will show you how to generate an entire animation with consistent characters. And I will show you how to create storyboards and do some more cool things within this platform. Now, if you want to follow along, then you can click the link in the description down below and you can try this out for yourself. Once you're logged into the LTX Studio, this is the dashboard that you will see. You will have various different options to create visual and we are starting off with a concept. So I have like my projects right here, but for this example, I'm gonna start off with a new project. And what this can do is it will help you from start to finish of like making your ID into a visual storyboard and even into a video that you can show or demo to your clients or that you can use as your visual before you start producing your videos. So for my concept, I'm gonna do this, an animation of a brave little rabbit named Ash escaping an unknown known predator in the night. So I'm gonna develop this with AI. Now here we have a few options. So you can leave in special request, you can change your format, you can put anything that you'd like in there. So for my genre, I'm gonna do children's adventure. And then for the tone, I'm gonna do suspenseful. Now next up, if you want to have a voiceover into this, then you add yes, and that's what I want to do. Then we press next, and here you go over to the storyline. So now we'll start generating the storyline for your idea so this is the storyline that it has generated for us now if you want to generate more then you can do so right here and then it will give you a different storyline now i like this already so let me just go with this one then we click on next and now we can start building our cast now for the project name i'm gonna name it the brave little rabbit and then we have a few different options for the aspect ratio. I like to keep it at 16 by nine as I want to create a YouTube video, but you can do one by one or nine by 16. Then we have the video style. And this is a very important step because this will dictate the aesthetic of your video. So we have a few different options and I'm gonna go with a 3D cartoon for this one. And as you can see, main character will also change in appearance right here. It will now be regenerating a new character. And then we have something like this. Besides that, you can also create your own consistent character by clicking on add character then you go to train an actor and here you click on this button and then you will have a consistent character like this now for the style reference this is pretty interesting to me because with this you have a ton of different options to like further customize your project and i played around with this so i dragged in an image and i have an image right here so i'm using this rabbit right here as a style reference and then i'm dragging it over to like 50 percent so now that will also mean that that our rabbit is changing. And I did this on two projects. So I basically have the same storyline. Although if we switch to the other one, we can see the look, the feel, the lighting is all different. And that is because if we take a look at our reference, we see it is here a lot lighter. Then it has used that reference into the storyline right here. So if you use that style reference in your video, then it will change the outcome of your project drastically by following the style of that image. So it's pretty interesting to see like if you 
you apply some kind of star reference into your video, your character will change. It will follow those, like literally the style. That's what it is meant for. And it will have a big impact on your video. So if you have a specific style you're looking for, then upload your image right here. You can play around with the intensity, in my opinion, putting it a little bit lower, like around 50% gives you the best results. If you go overboard to like 100%, sometimes it goes pretty weird. So I just try to keep it at 50%. Now let's remove the style reference and go back to our character. So here we have our character, we can edit it, we can even regenerate it and we can change everything. So the age kind of like doesn't make sense as we have like a rabbit. Rabbits aren't 35 years old, I hope. So we can put in the age to make your character younger or older. So I have the character Ash the rabbit. Then I'm gonna give it a prompt like this, which will be a brave little rabbit facing her fears. And then I have a short ChatGPT prompt right here, which will be this. Then you can even give it specific clothing, like for example, a white t-shirt or denim shirt or whatever you want. And then you can choose the voice. So I went with this voice right here. Now, in my opinion, if you click on enhance character, it will give you the best results. So I'm going to click on that and then we hit apply. So now we have our cast done and now you can hit the next step and then your project will be generating. So now you have the entire breakdown of your project. You have the synopsis, you have every scene in detail explained, even what the voiceover is like. You can make changes to this if you'd like. Keep in mind, for example, here, even within the scene description, you see what time it is shot. So that's pretty interesting that you have full control over even like the location, the scenery and everything like that. And then once you're ready, you hit start. Now this takes a few minutes. Luckily, I already have this prepared right here. So this is kind of like the timeline that you will see. So here we have different scenes that are generated and then you will start off with images. So first it will generate an image. And then once you click on generate the video, it will start generating the video for you. And now I will explain to you how this storyboard works, how you can apply motion and all kinds of other cool things to your videos. So over here on the left hand side, we have the location. Like I mentioned, you have full control over everything. So we have the location, a dense forest. If we change this, for example, an active volcano, it will like regenerate everything and we will have an active volcano in the background. Lighting, you can choose anything you want. For example, we have August 9 p.m. moonlight filtering through the tree tops. And then you also have the weather. So you have full control over your scene location. Then you can choose your style. So we already have done that in the beginning of our ideation process. So here you can change it if you'd like. And then you have the clothing so you can dress up your character in a different costume if you did like. On the top here, you can play around with the settings so you can change the aspect ratio, but most likely you will be playing around more with the voiceover of the character or of the narrator. Now I'm gonna go with cancel because I already have this generated. And then you can play around with the soundtrack. But keep in mind on each individual scene, you also have auto SFX and you have a scene sound that you can add to this. So you can add like, for example, ocean's waves right here. So that gives you a ton of creative freedom to make whatever you have in your mind. And literally you can describe every scene. If you want to add in a new shot, you can click on this plus icon and then you can do that through a prompt, a composition, or you can upload even an image reference. So for example, if I just take this prompt, then I can start this. I can change the shot type to like a close up, extreme close up, medium shot. You have like full control over this. So for example, right now we probably have like a establishing shot. If we do a close up, then it will regenerate this to something like this. So for example, we now have a close-up of a child running through a field. We do have a close-up of their feet though, but you can change this to anything that you'd like. You have some pretty cool stuff in here and you can do some other cool stuff with this. So I will be explaining that to you further in this video. After you've generated your image, you can generate motion by clicking on that button. Now, then your video will look something like this. So we now have some motion in our video. If you go to motion editor, then you can change a whole lot of things right here. So if you wanna do it by frame, then you can change the prompt. And if you change this prompt, then it will change it to another image. Now you can change the shot type, but I already showed you that. And then you can also create an entire composition based on your drawing. So for example, if I were to draw like a path right here and I have something like a tree on the sides here, this is a very bad drawing, but then 
I will try to follow your drawings and make something cool out of this. So for those of you that can draw, you can make something good with this. If you cannot draw, you can also upload an image. I will show you an example of an image reference that you can use later, but this works pretty good. Within the animation, you have a few different controls. So for example, you can change the frame animation to a different duration. You can increase the intensity and you can play around with the prompt. Now, another cool thing is the camera movement. So if you want to add in a camera movement, then it will create a start frame and an end frame. And then you can play around with this by, for example, doing a zoom in. And let me just show you. So now we have like the end frame add a movement, which will be zoom in. So now it is zoom in and now we click apply. So now we have some kind of a camera zoom in because we have animated this with the movement type. So if you go back to our storyboard, I want you to understand that you can do this for each and every scene all within this one platform. So that is the cool thing about LDX Studio. I don't see that in any other tool out there. You have so much control over what you can create. In my opinion, it, it isn't the best video generator yet, but I must say compared to all the other tools that I've tested out, LTX Studio is pretty fast. You can generate like four videos in 10 seconds, which is insanely fast compared to what other tools can do. But if it comes down to like storyboarding and all of that, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it to demonstrate what you have in your mind into a visual done by AI. And compared to doing this entire process yourself by drawing or having like an animator or a graphic designer do this for you, this is much cheaper and faster to make something that you can easily share. So let me show you another example that I have created as well. So here we have a perfume ad that I created from scratch. So if you create something from scratch, you can give it a name, then you can create your cast. So you can literally have full control over your character. You can describe the appearance, the clothing and everything like that. And then you can create your video. Now I did this with this character here. I did it in film noir. That's the style that I used here. And I generated like three different scenes or like four of them to make a short perfume ad. Now here's a look at the ad that I made for this. You don't see her, but you feel her. A whisper in the dark, a shadow in the night. She lingers on your skin like a secret you can't forget. Apsura, dark, mysterious, unstoppable. So the way I made that is by using this character right here. And then from there, I started prompting each and every scene. Now, the cool thing with this is I had this idea in my head and I could easily visualize it without any drawing. The only drawing that I did was for this scene right here. So if I go back to the motion editor, I made a composition for this. And just to give you an idea how that works, I can go back to the frame. I can edit the composition. So here I have this image and you see with this image I made this but I want to demonstrate to you how powerful this could be so if I just actually put in a different image so let me delete this and I upload another image that I have so which is this image so this is a drawing that I made on my iPad and now I open this and now we can use this as a reference and let's see what the AI makes of this so there you go this is pretty cool so it is even in the film noir style that I edit and it has done a pretty great job at like following the instructions maybe Maybe my writing is not good enough because if we take a look at this image, we saw that the text wasn't correct. So yeah, once you're happy with it, you click on apply and then you have a new scene here. We can now turn this image into a video. So we click on generate video and we can give it a motion prompt. For example, let's do a zoom in right here. Now we generate the video and then we get four different results and we can pick the one that we like. So we have a few different ones. I like this one a lot because it's actually doing the full zoom in. Here we have a bit more motion. But I also like this panning one, although it's not really what I prompted. So I'm going to go with this one. And then you have this selected and then you can go back to your storyboard and your video is now complete. So if you want to preview this, you need to make sure that you have all the motion generated in your video. Otherwise, you will have like still images and then you click preview. It will generate it and then it will combine everything together. Now, if you want to try it LTX Studio yourself, then they have a few different plans. With the standard plan, they just released a new feature. You can actually train an actor. So you can create a consistent model of yourself or of your character. And that is a pretty cool feature that I've just added in. I will leave the link in the description down below if you want to try this out yourself. And if you want to learn how you can edit your videos all together using a video editor, then click the video that's on the screen right now. And I will teach you exactly a few different editors that you can use for your project.